New Jersey Governor Chris Christie sat down with state and local brain trust today to attempt to navigate the economic epic fail known as Atlantic City. The governor encouraged solutions to kick the meeting off for surely, he said, there's plenty of blame to go around. But there has been significant governmental failure over time here in Atlantic City. And that significant governmental failure is coming home to roost. And there was plenty to discuss. About a third of Atlantic City's casinos closed their doors this year, putting 8,000 workers out onto the streets. United Airlines recently announced that it was pulling its flights out of AC International Airport, leaving only one carrier providing service. Earlier this week, State Senate President Steve Sweeney announced a bill that would throw a lifeline to Atlantic City. But when the meeting broke up, Governor Christie said it's just too soon to know whether he could sign it or not. Governor, when the work is done, do you anticipate you might be able to sign Senator Sweeney's bill? Well, I, listen, I don't think Senator Sweeney's bill is even a bill yet. It's a group of proposals. So um, lots of people have different ideas. All of those are to be considered as we move forward. Now, the details of Sweeney's bill need to be ironed out. Everyone acknowledges that. They're said to include payments in lieu of taxes for casinos for the next two years and a change in the way casinos are taxed in the years to follow that. But there will be cuts both to the city budget and to what Senator Sweeney called a politically bloated city school system. It's not about school cuts. It's about the fact that that, that, age, that school district is bloated with patronage huh? and needs to be reduced. Uh, I don't think anyone, if, what I'm saying is a surprise to anyone. All in all, no easy fixes, said the governor, who declined to comment on specifics, including whether he'd actually embark on a much-anticipated run for president. Experts do say, however, that nationwide voters may grade him, at least in part, on how he handles this, the situation of New Jersey's crumbling gambling mecca. I'm Hank Flynn. Hit me up on Twitter and get us at ChasingNJ.